On August 24th, 10 years ago, the Southwood campus of Grace Bible Church opened its doors for the first time after months of preparation, prayer, and sacrifice. That first Sunday, 750 adults and children gathered to worship Jesus and to hear from God's Word. In those first few years, it was all hands on deck at Southwood as a committed core of adults and students invested countless hours to get Grace's first multi-site campus up and running. God was faithful every step of the way. The Southwood congregation grew rapidly and began to make an impact for Jesus, both in our community and around the world. So in the beginning, I think that if anyone had um, thought, uh, could see the circumstances that were going to be put forward in the first year and a half or so that Southwood was open, they would have told people, don't even open that campus because it's doomed to fail. And uh, we used to say you could uh, dance in the back of the sanctuary because there weren't even chairs all the way back to where there are now. I love um, watching all that God has done through uh, this campus. And um, I feel grateful for the opportunity that He uses me in places and in times to do His work here. With its close proximity to A&M Consolidated, Southwood was a welcoming place for young adults and families with children. Over the past 10 years, many of the kids who started in our early childhood program have become young adults who now help lead our youth ministry. In the spirit of the Great Commission, those young adults are passing along their faith in Christ to others who will one day repeat the process. Whether it be seventh grade or 12th grade, uh, everyone is just a big family and it's a godly family. It has definitely grown a ton since I first came here. Like whenever I was in seventh grade, the youth group, there was maybe 25, 30 kids and now there's close to 100 every single Wednesday and Sundays too, which is so cool to see Grace grow so quickly. Grace Southwood has always felt like a family, perhaps because we started small. Or perhaps it was because we had so many families join us in the early days who've stayed with us ever since. United by God's Spirit, these families found a home at Southwood. Our children and we have been encouraged to engage in spiritual conversations, teaching them at home, what are we, what are we reading, what are we learning about, about the Lord. And a lot of that is just from Blake's teaching as well and teaching us how to study scripture and then we're passing that along and I think hopefully providing our, our children with a deep-seated faith as they go and grow <laughs> onto, onto their own. Our three sons have come to know the Lord as their Savior during the time that we've been here at Southwood. And, you know, a lot, a lot of that has been the prayers of their Sunday school teachers. It's just been a real, it's a blessing to see that and to see that happen. I don't think for me too, you know, one of the areas that I feel like I've grown a lot in the past few years, and really I think a lot is a, a part of being a part of this campus and being involved with the ministries here is in the area of generosity. And really understanding what it means to give of my time, of my resources, of, you know, financial, whatever those resources are, being willing to give of those. Seeing the real hands and feet of Jesus in the, in the people of the church has been really um, moving and exciting. But it wasn't only families who found their church home at Southwood. We were thrilled to see God lead college students to worship alongside us. Today, somewhere around two thirds of our Southwood congregation are college students. God has used Southwood to reach and raise up countless students who've taken the good news of Jesus all over the world. From the beginning, I got to meet a lot of older um, um, married couples and families and just was immersed into their life so quickly. And I think that those relationships um, and feeling loved and poured into by them, just that, that feeling of community was um, felt like a little piece of home um, here in College Station. I just have met so many people that are at Southwood that are so focused on sharing the gospel and spreading the word and that very much stood out to me and grown that passion for me for missions. As we celebrate our 10 year anniversary, Southwood is stronger and healthier than it has ever been. All the credit goes to God who has blessed our church and used us to help so many people find and follow Jesus. We believe this is only the beginning of what God plans to do through Grace Southwood. You know, we, we say this often, we're really kind of a small church in a little city that um, 
really has had the opportunity to impact the world.